Okay, so you might have seen the KD drones charging case for charging a bunch of batteries at once, super convenient. But what about at the end of the day when you've come back from a shoot and you've got a bunch of full batteries left over and you've got maybe one or two of these, they're much better at discharging, but only one battery at a time. So what we've got now is the KD discharger. So 10 ports, XC90, 60 and 30. You can plug 10 batteries in all at the same time of different sizes, same voltage, connect it up to one of these and discharge all your batteries. Just let them sit there and they'll come down storage voltage. I'm gonna let Joe tell you a little bit about what's inside and how we made this thing, because it's super convenient. Yeah, so essentially, as Milford said, we've got 10 ports. Each of these are connected, so you can plug in any of your batteries, 10 different ones at once, and then each one runs through a diode, which stops them from back charging into each other. So essentially what the discharger will do is it will see the battery that is the highest voltage, and then just pull current from that to discharge it, eventually balancing all the batteries to the same level. And then once you hit your storage voltage detected on here, it will switch the whole thing off and then you know your batteries are done. So for cooling, inside two uh, Noctua fans on the sides, one to intake and one to outtake. And this will set a whole bunch of air across all of the diodes. They have heat sinks on the diodes as well. So the whole thing stays super cool and it doesn't overheat while you're discharging potentially some massive batteries. So what we're gonna do is take our KD discharger going to plug it into one of these ISDT 200 watt dischargers just with the XC60 out the back there and then I'm just going to plug a bunch of batteries in. So I've got some big 6S 5200s and because of the diodes these can all be plugged in at different voltage levels as long as they're all either 6S, 4S, 3S etc. As long as they're all the same voltage batteries you can have these almost at storage or fully charged it doesn't matter they're not going to flow into each other because of the diodes. So I'm just gonna plug 10 batteries in here, like that. Discharger, I'm gonna do the usual thing, 6S, and I'm just gonna put it to the maximum 200 watts. And then that is gonna sit there. It's gonna discharge everything. It'll take a while, but I don't need to come back to it until it's fully done, then it'll start beeping, and all of these batteries will be at storage level. 